Now, according to his Wikipedia, John Mulaney is best known for his work as a writer on Saturday Night Live. I know him better as the guy at the back of the room waiting to sit in this chair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Mulaney. <laughs> This one, yeah. Thank you. Welcome. We planned that. It was good. We planned that real good. We planned a little physical comedy. Never heard Absolutely. anybody. Absolutely. If you have a circular table, you should do a few <laughs> rounds in front of a live audience before you sit down and yeah. start entertaining them. So the thing that people might not know about you is that you were a writer on SNL. Yes. What does it take to survive that writer's room? Uh. It's cutthroat in that it's scary, but it's not cutthroat in that it's competitive. Uh, Seth Meyers, all the people that were uh, in charge and still still there uh, when I started there created a really cool atmosphere. Who were your people that you sort of gravitated towards? That was the other thing. Yeah. It was nice for me because I just saw like people like Bill Hader and I just grabbed onto their coattails <laughs> with all my might and I never let go. You created uh, Stefan with Bill Hader. Bill Hader and I wrote that together, yeah. Yeah, and uh, was there a real life person that inspired Stefan? There were two. Uh, <laughs> there's one guy I knew who was trying to start club nights. In New York, there's not always a set nightclub. There's these like roving parties that would take place in weird spaces. This guy was always trying to start one. And what I got from him was like the listing of things with certainty. He'd be like, this party's going to have everything. It's going to have like goats. Like grown men in wedding dresses. <laughs> it's gonna have like everything. It's gonna, and then he would list things that you've like never really <laughs> longed for, never longed for, and would never include under the heading of everything <laughs> that a party should have. Right. At the same time, Bill knew this barista, this guy that worked at a coffee shop, and he got from him that sort of like uh, hands covering the face freak out, mm. where he'd be like, My mother's in town. <laughs> you know, like that. Yeah. Uh, and Bill does it much better. But he, he once said to Bill that uh, Bill asked him where he lived, and he said, I live on the lower, lower east side. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the rule with Stefan things was it was like uh, the details were anything you might have seen once. You'd be like, a oh, Hawaiian cleaning lady that looks like Smokey Robinson. You'd be, like, <laughs> be like, that's crazy, but I, I do sort of know what that would look like. <laughs> right, like the burned out red lobster. That's clearly. You know what I always lobster. wanted to get, I always forgot to put in was a, uh, <laughs> was a Burger King that you could tell used to be a blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any sketches from SNL that you liked but didn't make it? Well, one of my favorite things we eventually got online, which was, uh, a sketch that Bill Hader and I wrote called Kanish. And it had like one of those openings like, Kanish, in color. And it was him like rolling around. <laughs> and the thing was that this was a show where they always got the freeze frame wrong, you know? <laughs> They'd be like, just face it, some cops have it and some cop, and then it would like freeze it. <laughs> Your new act has a, a story about a run-in with Justin Bieber in the halls of uh, 30 Rock. Will you explain it to the people who weren't in my Yeah, class? it's, uh, well, it was just, I was, uh, <laughs> he was the musical guest on Saturday Night Live. And uh, I was coming down the hall one night. This is the first time he was on the show. I'd never met him, uh, you know, obviously. And <laughs> we hadn't hung out you a lot. You never met him? No, we hadn't hung out a lot at that time because he was 16 and I'm a shut-in. But I was coming down the <laughs> hall one night and I was carrying these papers and suddenly someone was, so I was walking, you know, just like melancholy little prince. And then suddenly someone was right here and they go, whoa, 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 whoa. and I went, Ugh! and I dropped my papers and it was Justin Bieber. And he, point, he went, ah, ha, 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 ha. He laughed in my face. And then all his friends laughed at me. Back then he had these backup dancers that were like a little too old to be his backup dancers. <laughs> they all laughed at me and then they kept walking. And the manager came running and he went, Justin, come on, we gotta go. And that's the real point of the story is that he had somewhere to be. <laughs> But the richest, most busiest child in the world took time out of his day to embarrass a depressed man. <laughs> and that's why you never say never. <laughs> He's a giver. He's a giver. A giver. Yeah. Um, we have, you don't know this, but somebody wanted to ask you a question. So here it is. John Mulaney, you are a hero of mine. <laughs> you're young, you're hilarious, uh, you're way 14,000 times funnier than I was at your age. Are you personally trying to annoy me? I'm in your face! 
<laughs> Andy Kindler yeah. coming after me hard. It's not true that he hadn't accomplished a lot uh, by the time he was my age. I don't know if you know this, but Andy was born in Schmutzville, Israel in 1905. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, by 1906, he had already accomplished, <laughs> he had already annoyed many people. He's, <laughs> he's, a... I can make that joke, I think. <laughs> he's the best. Yeah, he's that. great. He's yeah. great, yeah. And so are you. Good out, right? John Mulaney, Thanks. ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, no problem. Good time. That's all we have time for. Do we walk around the table? We want to do a walk around the table. Right. Sure you want to do one loop. <laughs> right.